When you're ready to start developing for the Roku platform, you need to create the required developer and user accounts. You also need to enable your test Roku device for development. In this lesson, we'll cover how to complete these steps. Once you're done, you can sideload Roku's Hello World channel and view its output in the debug console. The first thing to do is to create a Roku customer account and then enroll in the Roku Developer Program. Enrollment is free and easy. You just need to provide your contact information and agree to the Roku Distribution Agreement. Once you've enrolled, you can access the Roku Developer Dashboard. This is your central hub for configuring, publishing, and monitoring your Roku channels. Specifically, the Developer Dashboard contains a suite of tools that enable you to create products such as subscriptions or rentals that customers can purchase from your channel, upload encrypted channel packages and verify that channels meet certification requirements, submit channels for publishing, review channel analytics and crash logs, and check payments from the subscriptions and transactions sold in your channel. In addition, the Developer Dashboard lets you access Roku Developer Tools for coding, editing, and debugging channels, access Roku's content engagement programs such as Roku Search and the Roku Advertising Platform, enroll in the Roku Partners Payouts program so Roku can share any revenue payouts due to you, and configure which team members can manage your channels. Now that you've created a Roku customer account and enrolled in the Roku Developer Program, let's sideload one of Roku's sample channels so we can learn a bit more about the contents and structure of a Roku channel. Before you can sideload the channel, you first need to enable Developer Mode on your Roku device. To do this, use your Roku Remote or Roku Remote app and press Home three times, up twice, and then right, left, right, left, right. Write down the URL of your Roku device that is displayed on the screen, and then enable the development application installer. Read and accept the developer tools license agreement, which enables you to build custom channels with a Roku SDK and other developer tools. Enter a case sensitive password for your Roku device. Once you submit this password, your Roku device reboots. When the device finishes rebooting, it is activated in developer mode. For this exercise, let's sideload the Hello World sample channel. To do this, first download the Hello World zip file from the resources folder. In your web browser, enter the URL of your Roku device and then log in to your device. In the username field, enter Roku Dev and then enter the password you created when you enabled developer mode. The Development Application Installer opens. You can use this tool to sideload channels on your Roku device. Before sideloading the Hello World sample channel, let's pause for a minute to take a look at the other tools you can access from here. The Package Utilities lets you key or rekey channel packages, generate profiling data to evaluate the channel's performance, and take screenshots of your channel. The Packager lets you create an encrypted package that you can submit for publishing to the Roku Channel Store. Going back to the Development Application Installer, sideload the Hello World sample channel by clicking Upload, selecting the Hello World zip file you download from the Resources folder, and then clicking Install. This launches the channel on your Roku device and displays Hello World on the screen. You are now ready to create your first Roku channel by modifying the Hello World sample. To get started, you just need a zip utility to extract and archive channels and an IDE such as Eclipse, Atom, or Visual Studio to program the channel. Roku's Eclipse plugin, along with some other Roku plugins for popular IDEs, are linked from the Resources folder. The first step is to unzip the Hello World sample channel. The channel's directory contains the following folders and files. The Components folder contains the SceneGraph XML files that define the channel's UI. The Source folder contains the main entry point for launching the channel. The Images folder contains the splash, screen image, and other artwork for the channel. The Manifest file defines the channel attributes and versioning. 
Now let's edit the text displayed on the screen. Expand the components folder, then open the Hello World XML file. In the label node, update the text field to whatever string you want to be displayed on the screen. I'm going to display my first Roku channel. Save the file and then zip the contents inside the Hello World directory. Do not zip the directory itself or the development application installer will report an error when you try to upload the channel. Name the zip file something that makes it easy to find, such as myhelloworld.zip. Go back to the development application installer, click upload, select your My Hello World zip file, and then click replace. This relaunches the channel and displays the updated text you entered on the screen. If your channel doesn't behave as expected, you can use the debug console to view its output during runtime. If the channel fails during runtime, the debug console displays the line number of the error as well as the contents of variables at the time of the failure. If the channel has compilation errors, the debug console displays them as well. It is recommended to have the debug console open whenever you are running a sideloaded channel. Let's use the debug console while running our updated Hello World sample channel. Open a terminal or console application on your computer, enter Telnet, the IP address of your Roku device, and then port 8085. This is the port number for the BrightScript console on the Roku device. You can also access the debug console from the Roku plugin in the Eclipse IDE. Go back to the development application installer, click delete, upload, then select your My Hello World zip file, and then click install. In the debug console, view the output from the sample channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more Roku developer videos, subscribe to our channel. And for the rest of the videos in this course, as well as additional demos and tutorials showing you how to develop on one of the world's leading streaming platforms, check out the link to the Roku developers video site in the description below.